Okay, Colleen, Colleen from Wisconsin. I would like to know what you think about speaking in tongues. Well, I think it's fantastic. If it's the tongue of Pentecost that you're talking about in Acts chapter 2, when God's elect and those that have ears to hear are delivered up, they're, the evidence of true tongues, which is language, that's what the word is in the Greek, as it is written in God's word, not man's, but God's word, in Acts chapter 2, verses uh, 6 and 7, that that language is not unknown, but every ear that hears it, regardless of what language they speak, understand it clearly in the dialect of the county in which they were born. That's wonderful, speaking in that tongue, because to be able to speak with everyone understanding, there's no babble, it's clearly heard, if it's the true Pentecost tongue, Acts chapter 2, verses 6 and 7. Now, that's God's Word. A lot of people prefer man's Word or traditions, and if you like man's traditions, have at it. I will stick to God's Word. It's wonderful. 